Hey everyone! So I have a very exciting video for you guys today and I'm going to be showing you how I clean my makeup brushes. And this is kind of like um, a detail clean. So this is something I do like maybe once every two weeks. Um, I should do it more often but I just don't have the time so in between deep cleanings um, I have a gentle brush cleaner and it's by Essence of Beauty. I just got this at CVS and it's probably like six dollars or less than six dollars. Um, I'll find out the exact price and put it somewhere in the video. But um, this works exactly like the MAC spray or the um, MAC brush cleaner in that you can just um, spray a little bit on your brush and then take a washcloth or whatever and then just wipe it off in between makeup applications so you can use the same brush um, in the same sitting, I guess you could say. So I'm just going to show you real quick on a clean brush. I actually just bought this brush um, today, like less than a couple hours ago, so it's brand spanking new. Never been used, but I'll show you how um, I use the in-between cleanings. So what I do is I just spray it on both sides because um, more than likely there'll be you know shadow on both sides and I just have like a clean uh, cotton washcloth and what I do is I'll just swirl it around and if there's any makeup on there it will come off on the um, on the washcloth I don't know if you guys can see this but um, and if you just dab it it'll be ready for you to use in like a few minutes so it's it's almost already all dry and I'll just show you um, see I know that's really gross but there's the spot for um, my stippling brush like all the extra foundation and a couple extra blush spots and eyeshadow spots so this is what it will look like when um, you use this and it says that um, Spray brush cleaner onto the brush. Gently wipe the brush onto a lint-free cotton cloth and remove residue. Rinse with tepid water until the water runs clear. Squeeze out excess water. Reshape brush and lay flat to dry overnight. Those are the instructions on the back. And if you just wipe it on the um, cloth, there's no need to um, go ahead and then run this through water because it will get everything off. Um, but just so that this doesn't build up any residue on the brush, do do your deep cleaning um, as often as you like, really. I mean, I just don't have time to do it as often as I should. But I have my Kabuki brush I have to wash, so I'm going to show you guys how I wash my brushes. Alright, we're in my kitchen right now, and as you can see, I have most of my brushes drying right now. And I know that you're thinking you shouldn't lay them flat, you should get brush guards and, um, you know, stand them upright in a cup like Michelle Fawn does. But um, I worked out this system where it actually works pretty well. And as you can see, my brushes are kind of at a slant so that the water won't go up into the ferrule. And they're not going to get um, out of shape. Because, I mean, they're very light, you're not going to mess up your bristles doing it this way. And then I have um, double-sided brushes, and these ones are laying flat because, of course, I don't want one end to be down and the other up because then the other side will get, you know, ruined. But what I have underneath here to make this up is just another little hand towel that I've rolled up, and I just put in the middle... Um, and so I can lay these brushes slanting this way and these brushes slanting this way. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. So I just have um, like a dinner plate or a dessert plate. And I have some use baby soap um, or baby shampoo, but baby shampoo does not have antibacterial properties. So I'm just using soft soap. And see, as you can see, it eliminates 99% of the germs. So I'm just going to go ahead and since I'm only using one or washing one brush right now, I just do a couple of pumps. And then you're going to think this is so weird, but I have extra virgin olive oil. 
And this is the same thing as um, just a couple drops right over the, the soap. You're going to think this is weird, but um, it's the same principle as deep conditioning your hair with any type of oil. And the, the bristles, whether they may be synthetic or real hair, you're going to want to moisturize them so they stay nice and you know soft and don't get any split ends. Because I guess your brushes could get split ends, I, I'm assuming. But what I'm going to do is I have my you know dry kabuki brush. And I'm just going to swirl it around in this mixture. And as you can see, it's really gross, but there's all like my MAC powder just coming off. And you want to get it, you know, all over an even coating. And see, there's all that grime coming off my brush. It's really gross, but, you know, you have, this is why you wash it because you don't want all that going back on your face. So I just swirl this around just a little bit and then here's the part uh, that gets kind of messy. Kind of like lukewarm water, you don't want it, you know, cold or too hot. You just want it like lukewarm. And what you want to do is you kind of just want to swish it around in your hand and get up like a good lather. And then just kind of like get the water on your hand so that it droops down your hand and into the brush. And it's getting too, too warm here. All right. And then just kind of swish the brush in and out of the water stream. Don't hold your, you know, your brush up in the water. You always want to hold it feral down so the water doesn't get up in there. And you'll notice that the water starts to run clear after only a couple of seconds of this. And then I just kind of squeeze any excess water out, just kind of helping the drying process along. Okay. All right, now what I have here is a wet brush. And I just kind of want to go in and just dab any excess water out. And even with dry paper towels, just go over and press it, or you can, you know, squeeze gently with the paper towels just to soak up any excess water. And even if you just kind of want to like shake it out. All right, and see, it's already like halfway dry. So we're just going to leave that right there and see it's going down. Water's going to run down. And that's how I clean my brushes. Does anybody want to come over for dinner tonight? We're having chicken, which I'm uh, defrosting right now, and um, a tomato, onion, garlic with uh, Italian herbs, um, kind of like a cold veggie salad. So if you want to come over for dinner, <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this can help you guys. Um, if you don't want to go out and get, you know, uh, the brush guards for every single brush you own, this is just an alternate way. I'm not saying it's the best way or the worst way. It's just how I do it. And it's worked out um, pretty well for me so far. So I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.